Inclusive spaces. Designers should build spaces to include everyone. Inclusive spaces can create social environments so that people can interact and learn about one another. Following the ADA will make a building accessible to some degree, but will not automatically make a building into an inclusive space. Following only minimum ADA when designing a space will make a space that creates social exclusion, feelings of separation and division, embarrassment, and other psychological effects. What if every time you entered a building, it was the back door? Or every time your group of friends changed floors, you had to find an elevator? The idea that you have to separate yourself because you are different would wear on any person. The University of Colorado's approach to ADA is passing standard because it's hard to find places where they fail to meet requirements. To meet ADA is one thing, but to create an inclusive environment is something else. The problem with the university's approach to ADA is that they follow the guide, but miss the point of inclusion and equality. Why is it the most front entries on the buildings have stairs? Why is it necessary to divide the ramp and stairs? Why can't the front of a building be retrofitted with a ramp instead of the back? And why do we encourage design that promotes separation? It is important to recognize that design can affect its users and use that knowledge to change bad practices. For the decision makers to change the way that they think and start with a clean slate, they need to inform the users of the space, collaborate with people with disabilities, and encourage design that treats everyone the same.